Hi everyone and welcome to the Flip Classroom. This is our trigonometry unit and for this first video we're going to be doing the whisk together. The whisk is a way that you're going to respond to the video each time you watch it at home by yourself and so I'll just remind you that the W stands for watch, the S stands for summarize, and the Q stands for question. So remember, the question can be one that I ask you in the video itself, or it can also be a question that you come up with while you're watching the video. But remember, the idea of the whisk is this is how you prove to me that you did your, quote, homework and that you watched the video. So today, like I said, we're going to be filling out the whisk in class together. This will not be our pattern but at least today it'll give you an idea of what we need to do. When you see this symbol, it means I'm gonna ask you to pause and reflect on what you've learned in the video so far. So again, par, as we know from a golf term, basically means are you on target with being able to hit that ball and finish the hole in the certain number of strokes that you're supposed to. Well, for us, it just means as you reflect on what you've learned so far in the video, are you on par with your learning? Are you on target with what you need to know? So if you see this symbol, don't forget just to pause the video, because you can always do that in the flipped classroom, and reflect or respond to whatever it is I'm asking. Are you ready? Here we go. For our first video, we're going to be exploring the sides of the special right triangles. Now remember, we know that in special right triangles, we have a 30-60-90 and we have a 45-45-90. So if I go ahead and I think about a 30-60-90 triangle, we remember that opposite the 30 degree side is going to be our short leg, which we label SL, because it's the smallest angle, which is opposite the smallest side. Then we remember that across from the 60 degree angle is the longer of the two legs, or we call that LL for long leg. Then across from the 90 degree angle, we of course have the hypotenuse. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give these numerical labels for each side. And we're going to start by working with just some easy numbers. So we're going to call our short leg 1. And of course our rule is that the hypotenuse is always double the short leg. So the hypotenuse becomes 2. And we remember that the long leg rule is that the long leg is always equal to the short leg times the square root of 3. And so that just is going to make the long leg equal to the square root of 3. Now we're going to explore some ratios of different sides of this 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the first ratio we're going to look at is the short leg to the hypotenuse. And if we take the labels that we just put on numerically, the short leg is 1, the hypotenuse is 2. So that ratio is 1 half. The next ratio we're going to look at is the long leg to the hypotenuse. And using the labels that we came up with, we have the square root of 3 over 2. Now the final ratio we're going to look at in this triangle is the long leg to the short leg. Long leg is the square root of 3. Short leg is 1. So these are the ratios that we come up with for this triangle. If we move on to a different size triangle, and let's just think about maybe doubling the side length. So our short leg is going to start as 2 this time, which means our hypotenuse is going to be double that of 4. And then using the long leg formula, that's short leg times the square root of 3, then that's going to become 2 radical 3. So 
So if we look at the same ratios that we did before, which is short leg to hypotenuse, long leg to hypotenuse, and long leg to short leg, and we go ahead and put the labels into these ratios. The short leg this time is 2, and the hypotenuse is 4. But 2 over 4, we know, is going to reduce to 1 half. The next ratio, long leg to hypotenuse, is 2 radical 3 over 4. We'll give ourselves a little bit more room here. And then, when we go ahead and reduce that, we've got a factor of 2 in both parts of that fraction. So this is just going to become, again, 1 and 2. And so we have the square root of 3 over 2. Then we have long leg is 2 radical 3 again over short leg is 2. And we can see a reducing there back to the square root of 3 over 1. Now I don't know about you, but those look pretty close or exactly the same ratios that we got before. No matter that size change, the ratios were the same. So here's one of those chances we talked about where I want you to pause and reflect. Why do you think it is that all the ratios that we found there were the same no matter what size that triangle was that we began? Go ahead and pause and think about that for a second. Do you have an answer? If you said that the answer was because these were similar triangles, then you're absolutely right. And we're going to use the similarity shortcut, remember, because they all have the same angles, this is an angle-angle similarity shortcut for those 30, 60, 90 triangles. So now, I think it's pretty clear to see that even if we just go ahead and change to any size triangle of a 30, 60, 90, let's just call this short leg x. That makes the hypotenuse twice that, or 2x. And that makes the long leg opposite the 60, x times radical 3. If we go ahead and we find the ratios of those sides again, the short leg to the hypotenuse is going to be your x to your 2x. And again, that common factor of x is just going to simplify so that we simply have 1 half. We take the long leg to the hypotenuse. And the long leg is x radical 3 to the hypotenuse, which is 2x. And again, that common factor of x is going to cancel right out, and we're back to the square root of 3 over 2. And then the final ratio is long leg to short leg. And in this case, the long leg is x radical 3 and the short leg is x. And there's that common factor of x canceling out again, and we're simply left with the square root of 3 over 1. So the last thing I want you to think about the last thing I want you to think about is the following question. And we're going to reflect on this a little bit more in an in-class activity in the next day or so, and also in the next video.